In this Divi 5 quick tip, I'm going to show you how to create a hover effect to a blurb. So as you can see, when I hover over here, you can see there's a color here that's showing and this only comes up on hover. Let's go ahead and recreate this in Divi 5. So over here, we're going to go ahead and click on this plus button and add our blurb module. So here it is. I'm going to select it. And then next, I'm going to do a few customizations here. We're going to head over to the design tab. And what we need here is the body text. As you can see, the text is a bit too small. So we're going to come over here to text size and then just bump this up to about 17. And while we're here, we might as well center this. And over here on the top, this is our title text. So again, we need to center this by coming over here. All right, so far so good. Now, while we're on the design tab, we might as well add a bit of padding around our blurb. So we're going to come all the way down here to spacing and we are going to add two rem and this needs to be applied to all the sides like that. And notice that I'm clicking on this chain icon so I can apply the values pretty much on either side. All right. So with that all selected, the next step now is to head over back to our content. Now at the moment we can add an image, but we want to add an icon. So I'm going to come to image and icon, click on here, and then we're just going to activate use icon. So here we're going to use any icon that we wish. And I'm going to go with this camera. And then finally, I just need to go in and adjust my size for my icon. So I'm going to come over here to design and then I'm going to go to image and icon. And by default, it's set to 96 pixels. So ideally, we want to bring this down a little bit, maybe to about, say, 60. OK, that looks that looks great. All right. So now it's time to add our hover effect. So what we need to do, and this is exclusive to DV5 alone, you want to come over here to the top right and click on this little icon. And when you go all the way down, you're going to notice that there is hover. So you want to make sure you select that. So with that selected now, you need to go back to content and then go all the way down here to background. So this is where we need to add our color. Now, right now we are on the hover mode, so I can pretty much just go in and add my color or any effect that I uh, any effect that I need to add. So I'm just going to make it very light. I think that works because we still have a contrast on this. And then I might I might as well just add some um, border radius here. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to go to border and let's go with about six or even eight. OK, let's go for ten. All right, so we've given this some rounded corners just to make it look um, a bit nicer. So with that all set now, I can go ahead and save. The next step now is to preview this. So I'm going to come over here, click on preview, and now it's opened up in a new tab. So check this out. When I hover now, you notice that we have this. Now I have another quick tip I want to give you straight away, and that is if I want to make two more, all I need to do is to duplicate this twice and then we just drag and drop it over to the other side. Okay. Like that. Do to the other one. Drag and drop it. So now we have all our three blurbs. So I'm going to save this now. And when we go to our preview, we're going to notice that we now have an updated version. So I'm going to refresh that. And now we have three blurbs. So let's say someone is visiting on your site. When they hover over it, they can see this effect on this page. OK, so if you haven't signed up to Divi University yet, this is where you're going to get a lot of tips and tutorials. It's a community for web designers who use Divi only. So go ahead. The link to that is in the video description below. And also, if you haven't purchased Divi yet, go ahead and purchase Divi. I have a lot of tutorials coming up which will help you get up and running with Divi super fast. Link to all of that in the video description below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.